everyone, so today I'm doing a closet tour video which has been much requested and the reason that I'm doing this video before I do my room tour video is because I know that my room tour is going to be a super long video and I was actually waiting to do my room tour because my curtains and my finished bedding was not delivered yet but it has been now. I'm still waiting on my shams but that's just like one little thing and I decided I'll go ahead and film my room tour even if that's not there. Um, so I am ready to, t to do my room tour but I was thinking about it and room tours are so long that I think that if I do my closet and my room and my jewelry arm wall, like if I went through all that stuff, that it would have just been an incredibly long video. So that's why I broke it up into three parts. So I already have my jewelry arm wall tour up. So I'll link that in the bottom bar below. And now I'm putting up my closet tour and then the next one super soon is going to be my room tour video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel or you check back or something. If you are interested in seeing a, uh, what is this? This is like falling out of my ear. If you are interested in seeing an entire room tour of my room. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my closet tour. And just like with all of my tour videos, I wanna put a huge disclaimer at the beginning of this video, just saying that I am not trying to brag or show off any of the items that you might see in my closet. I really feel like this is a requested video and I, you know, I should do this video for the people that wanna see it. But if this is going to offend you or, you know, make you sad in any way, I do have, I'm just gonna say it, I have a lot of clothes and a lot of shoes and stuff so I have tons of videos on my beauty channel and my vlog channel I'll link my vlog channel in the bottom bar below but if you just click on juicy star 07 below it'll take you to my beauty channel I have so many other videos you guys can watch so if um, this is a video that is going to offend you then I definitely recommend checking out my other videos but without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and show those who want to see my closet tour and then make sure you check back super soon for a room All tour right, so here we are at my closet and while I go through this just note that I'm gonna be giving you guys some organizational tips as well as some space saving tips so my first one is actually if you can you can see the hinges right here I actually took off the door and I added a curtain so this way I actually have the privacy of a door but then it doesn't take up the space that a door would to swing open. So I'm just going to push this back and I'm going to start off with an overview of the entire closet and then I'll go kind of piece by piece and show you guys what is in my closet. So this is one side and then I have a back right there and then over here just kind of walking you guys all the way around so you can see everything and then like I said I'll show you and then I have shoe, shoe, shoes. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too fast, but I hope that gives you guys kind of like an overview. So first off, and by the way, I actually had these shelves put into uh, my closet because it came with wire little shelving and I wanted to be able to um, have like shoe shelves and stuff like that. So the first thing I have is I have this slot board right here. And I have my hats at the top. I'm not a huge hat person, so I only have three. And then I have some hooks with my belts on them. And then down here, I have a pair of really tall boots that don't really fit anywhere else. So I stuck them right there. And then we get to my shoes. So I'm going to try to make sure that my camera stays focused. So I don't have enough space to put all of my shoes. So I've kind of started a little floor collection as well. But on the bottom, I like to keep my um, kind of like winter boots on that bottom shelf. And then out here are just like little random shoes that don't, don't have a spot. And then I started with ankle boots. And these are like military style boots. Here, I'll get down so you guys can kind of see. Well, that didn't help any. Come on, camera. Hi, how you doing? What's up? Focus, there we go. All right, so I have some military style boots and then as we work our way up, I still have some ankle boots right here. And we start to get into some high heels, some wedges, some stilettos. All of these are heels, by the way. So as I get up, they get kind of less organized, but yeah. So wedges, I love these, but they make me so tall right over here and then up at the top. And on that very last row, you can see those actually aren't heels. Those are Sperry's, some flat tennis shoes and some Oxfords. So those are all of my shoes. And then I'm actually just going to spin around right here so that I can start with the clothes. So the way that I like to organize my clothes is first off by what they are. So I have tank tops, short sleeve shirts, quarter length sleeve shirts, vests at the end, 
Then I have dresses, like short dresses. Then I have long sleeve shirts. Then I have hoodies. Then I have outerwear. And then obviously, you know, skirts and pants over there and stuff. But then in each subcategory, I also recommend um, color categorizing. So it starts with white and it fades. So these are all of the tank tops. And then we get into short sleeve tops. So it goes like this. And also I recommend, it makes it look a lot more uniform if you have all of the same hangers. I got mine at Target, they're 10 for a dollar. So if you like this look of these hangers, I definitely recommend them. And then we get into my like half sleeves and quarter length sleeves right here. And then at the back right here, I actually have my vests. So right here, they didn't fit in with the tank tops and I had extra space back here. So I was like, oh, I'll just stick them right there. And then down here, same thing, color categorized. I'm sorry if my camera starts to get shaky or anything, but um, all right, so outerwear starting at light and going to dark. And then I also have my sweatshirt if my camera would focus. I don't know what is wrong with this camera. So I have my hoodie and sweatshirts. And then over here, short dresses so just like that i love those and then i have my long sleeve shirts so yeah now we are going to work our way over i have this little footstool in case i need to get up to some of the boxes on the top shelves i also like to keep spare hangers right here in case i buy new tops or i'm traveling and i need to put things that aren't typically hung on hangers or anything like that i just like to have a few extra so i have those down there and then starting over here first i have skirts another kind of space storing slash organizing tip i have is if you get these hangers that have the hook on them let me see if i can get my camera in here Okay, there we go. See how this has a hook on it? I can hang multiple skirts on each one. So this is actually a bathing suit top. Another little tip that I'm going to give to you guys. So first off, I have these skirts right here. And then I have another layer of them. So these skirts, this is like eight or nine or ten skirts or something, but it only takes up the space of the two at the top. So that's why I really love these. Now this pile, the reason I actually have a bathing suit top hanging off of it is because this is my need to get alterations. Alterated alterations, yeah. I need to take this to the seamstress because they are a little bit too big, so I'm getting them taken in. And that bathing suit top is actually a little too big um, as well, and it's not adjustable, so that needs to be taken in. Then I have my jeans and obviously I start with white and then I go all the way to blue and black so I'll step back so you guys can get a look at that if my cami would ever focus I don't know what is wrong with this I am so sorry that's probably annoying okay so all the way back there I have some pants and then also back here in the back it's not going to pick up because it's too dark but I have some extra pant hangers in case I need it and then over here is where I keep kind of my special event dresses and my maxi dresses. So from here to here are maxi dresses and gowns. This was my prom dress. I think it's really, really cute. Um, and then here are my short dresses that are really nice that are, did I just like hit the wall? Yeah. That are um, for events. Like this was for the Teen Choice Awards. This was for um, the QVC party. I love this fringe dress right here. Look how pretty it is. I really love this. So I have some event dresses right here the prom premiere dresses right there and then down here I also have my dirty clothes hamper which I'm not going to go into detail in but um yeah that's where I keep my dirty clothes and then over here I have some extra shelves that go if I need to put more shelves in like the shoe shelves or anything and then I have some workout tennis shoes and then up here we get to the shelving all right so I start off and I have my purses so these purses are a little bit nicer so I like to keep them um, so that they hold their shape but these are just kind of the type that I can just lay on top of each other so I have some stacked over there and then same thing up here this is a nicer one that needs to keep its shape but these can all just kind of be on top of each other and on the back right there I actually have um, right here I have a uh, laptop case cover for when I go traveling. So yeah, that is that part of my closet. And then over here, I have all of my shorts, obviously color categorized. I'm kind of a little bit of a freak with that. And then above here, this is actually my traveling little container. So I have garment bags for traveling. I have a travel um, jewelry organizer. I have some stuff like that. Up there, um, that's actually an extra bed skirt, random, and also my cousin's birthday's in a few days, so I bought him that shirt the other day, and I'm going to ship it to him, so I'm super excited for that, so I hope he's not watching this video, but I don't think he is. 
All right, then I have these two little boxes right here. I got these bins at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I definitely recommend if you have little knickknacks to kind of put them all in a bin so they're not just lying around. So in this first one, I actually have dust bags for my shoes and my purses for when I'm traveling. And then the second one, I have all of my ballet flat shoes. And then back here, I have all of my little clutches. And I also have a big tote bag and um, a reusable kind of like grocery store bag that I take. So that's all back there. And then up here, that Nordstrom bag has some jewelry boxes in it that I like to keep just in case, but I don't really need them. Then I have just a random box. I have my duffel bag. Over here I have, up oh, there's a travel pillow and there's a travel pillow as well. I have some extra pillows and blankets just in case I need them, which I probably won't, but you never know. Over here I always keep at least one empty shoe box. I don't know why, but I always need that. Um, it always comes in handy, so when I use it, then the next pair of shoes I get, I'll keep that box. And then that pair of shoe box actually is um, kind of like a memory box for me. So I actually keep, you know, all of the magazines and stuff that I've been in. Um, when my little sister sends me pictures, I put them in there. If I read any really amazing letters in my P.O. box, I keep them. It's actually getting kind of overfilled, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have to get a bigger one. Over here, I have a bunch of polo shirts because for a year in my high school, we actually could only wear polo shirts to school. So um, I have them in lots of different colors. And then also, I just wanted to show you guys down here. I think it's right here. I have another little shoe box right here, and this is where I keep all of my receipts. So I recommend every time you go shopping or anything, just take the receipt out, throw it in a box. It's nice to save them. I cannot tell you how many times I've gone through items, and I have found that it still has a tag on it, and I haven't worn it, and it's still you know available for return so I'll find the receipt you know dig through it and then I will return it and buy something else with that money so yeah the last four things are these big bins up here and I'm actually going to grab them and pull them down to the floor and then um, I will be right back all right, so these are the four bins. I just pulled them down so you guys could see what was in them. So the first one, I have all of my flat shoes. So anything from flip-flops to sandals, anything like that I have in there. And I also have that really um, comfy pair of moccasins. I love those. I use those as house slippers all the time. The second one, I have fitted tank tops. Now, here's the difference between these tank tops and these tank tops. These tank tops are loose ones that need to be hung up, but I fold ones to save space if they um, don't need to be hung up. So those are all of like my tight tank tops. And then over here, this one's more of just a jumbled up mess because I find no matter what I do, I don't know why I can't keep this bin organized. But this is kind of like my, um, I guess, winter kind of bin. I have a lot of scarves, um, some gloves over there. I have maybe a couple um, toboggans and stuff in there. And then over here, I have all of my fitted t-shirts. Again, the difference between those and these are that these are just short sleeve like tops and blouses that need to be hung up, whereas these are just fine being um, folded and stuff. So yeah, that is an entire tour of every nook and cranny of my closet. So I totally hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that closet tour. Once again, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not trying to show off or brag about any of the things that you might have seen in my closet. I am terrified that someone is going to get offended by this video or something. So yeah, I hope that this was cool with all of you guys and make sure you check back for a room tour super soon. If you guys have any sort of tips for different ways to organize your closet or different little like space saving tips or anything like that, make sure you leave them in the comments below for other people to go through and read. And feel free to leave your closet tour as a video response. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.